And welcome back. My name is Jessica Likewise, CEO of Hope Education Services. Every week I post a video to have your questions about ABA and Autism Answered. So the question I got this week is actually one that's pretty controversial, especially among early intervention providers and ABA therapists and speech providers. And that's, should I teach my child with autism, and, and we're talking about young learners, sign language. Here's my take on this, and this is just my opinion. You might hear someone else give a different opinion. I think that sign language may not be the best idea when you're going into the community and not everyone knows what you're talking about. So there's a lot of times where I've gone to consult on cases and the child is signing something and I have absolutely no idea what it means. And I'm someone who's been in the profession for 10 years. And then the parent is saying, oh, well, they're signing for cookie. Well, honestly, I have no idea what the sign is for cookie. There are certain things where using signs can be appropriate. And I really then to like to say like gestures. So for example, if I were to say, teach a child to put their hands out, and say no, well most people would understand that you don't want something. Or if I were to have a child say like to give me and to teach them to go like this, well most people would be able to understand that this means give me. And those may not be the actual signs for them. Um, I don't personally, I'm not trained in American Sign Language. Um, so for me, you know, there's certain things that can be taught. And now for m many times, more is like the most common sign, which is to go like this. Well, if a child is at a school and a new teacher comes in and doesn't know what that means, it may not actually be functional and the child may not really be able to communicate. So for me, I tend to stay away from sign language. It's not one of my go-to methods. I much rather use some form of picture communication. I'd much rather use gestures or some of the new technology that allows for some really great voice output devices. Even for young learners, I found that to be really, really effective and a better approach. So if you have an opinion about this, I'd love to hear it in the comments of this video. I know, like I said, there's many different opinions about this topic, and I'd love to hear yours. If you have a question that I can answer, I'd also love to hear it please email me at jessica at jessicalikewise.com. I do my best to answer every single question that I get. And so don't forget to subscribe and check out our videos. One will be posted every week. Until then, hope to see you again soon and make it an amazing day.